Welcome to the OUA 2021-2022 OUA Men's Hockey Awards. It's been two years since we had the opportunity to celebrate the accomplishments of our OUA student athletes. With the revamped schedule, divisions, and new playoff formats, OUA Men's Hockey has been just as exciting as ever before. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank CCM for their ongoing support of OUA Men's Hockey. Now, while playoffs are underway and we prepare for the 110th Queen's Cup Championship game, we want to take this opportunity to celebrate the successes from this past season. And that begins with the rookies. Here are your 2021-2022 All-Rookies. Congratulations to all the 2021-2022 rookies. It is now time to recognize the All-Stars from each division. Each All-Star team consists of three forwards, two defense, and one goaltender. Congratulations to all the 2021-2022 All-Stars. It is now time to recognize the 2021-2022 Major Award winners, beginning with the Randy Gregg Award. The Randy Gregg Award recognizes the student-athlete for his successes in the classroom and his contributions in the community. The recipient of the 2021-2022 Randy Gregg Award for the East and Far East Divisions is Liam Murray, Royal Military College of Canada. The RMC captain displayed exceptional leadership throughout his time with the program, extending beyond the locker room and into the community as well. In addition to his altruism within the hockey community, where he helps coach the Greater Kingston hockey team, the Ottawa Ontario product is also a continuing volunteer with the Alzheimer's Society of Kingston, Frontenac, Lennox and Addington. The third year defenseman, who is also a part-time member of the Canadian Armed Forces in the Canadian Army Reserve, also encourages others to give back as the Paladins team ambassador for Hockey Gives Blood. The recipients of the 2021-2022 Randy Gregg Award for the West and Far West Divisions is Kyle Bowlers, Ryerson University. The talented Ram rookie has worked hard to ensure that the equity-seeking communities are being represented and given the same opportunity to play hockey and learn the game. Included in these efforts is Bowlers' work with the Black Aces Hockey Program, helping kids from underserved communities learn to skate while also serving as a tutor and mentor. The Oshawa product was also a key contributor in the Regent Park Community Skate, where the team engaged the Toronto community in conjunction with the Toronto Police. The sport media major has also raised funds through his Against All Odds account to support underserved communities and breast cancer awareness, and has been helping to organize the annual Golf for ALS tournament since 2014, raising funds for ALS Canada and Sunnybrook Hospital. Congratulations, Liam and Kyle. Up next is the most sportsmanlike award. This award is presented to those who exemplify sportsmanship, leadership, and fair play. The most sportsmanlike award for the East and Far East divisions goes to Aaron Boyd, Carleton University. A leader on the Ravens team, the business major shown offensively with 13 points in 11 games played after starting the season with points in six straight games and scoring two of the team's four game winners in that stretch. Beyond his impressive offensive numbers, however, Boyd shines the most with his 200-foot game where he's a key contributor at both ends of the rink. Despite being an active player across the ice and in all situations for Carlton, Boyd would only record six minutes in penalties the entire season. 
the most sportsmanlike award for the West and Far West divisions goes to Kyle Pettit, Western University. A leader in the dressing room and on the ice, Pettit is the definition of an all-round player. Named captain of the team after the extended winter break, the senior topped the team in the face-off circle at 63%, leads the team in shot blocks at 4.8 per game, is a plus 9 on the season, and was the team's top penalty killer. Despite being so actively involved across several facets of the game, the team's number one center accumulated just four penalty minutes on the season. Congratulations, Aaron and Kyle. Our next award is Coach of the Year. The East and Far East Coach of the Year Award goes to Mike McParland, Nipissing University. After picking up eight wins in 28 games a season ago, McParland led his Lakers to 10 wins in 10 fewer games to secure a plus 500 record for the first time since the 2011-2012 season. The team's most successful stress came to close out the fall and jump back into game action following the January pause, a stretch wherein the team reeled off seven wins in eight games and launched themselves into a home game in the first round of the playoffs. Among the standout stats from the Lakers season was a knack for scoring, ranking sixth in the OUA in goals at 54, including a league best five while shorthanded while the team's goaltending tandem turned away 568 shots on the year, second most in the OUA. The West and Far West Division's Coach of the Year Award goes to Johnny Duco, Ryerson University. Duco takes home his first conference recognition in his sixth season behind the Rams bench after leading the team to an 11-4 record and top spot in the West Division. Guided by his tutelage, the team has been ranked in the top 10 national rankings consistently throughout the season, peaking as high as number six in mid-February. Under Duco, the Rams' fourth coach of the year in program history, the team has had the best penalty kill unit in the country, operating at a staggering 93.2% rate, while the team was also on a threat on the scoreboard, with a second ranked 4.07 goals per game. Congratulations, Mike and Johnny. Up next are the Rookies of the Year. For the East, the Rookie of the Year award goes to Holden Katzele, Queens University. The first-year Phenom led the Gales and the conference as a whole in scoring 29 points in his decorated debut campaign. His 13 goals were also tied for the most in the OUA, while his 16 assists were second only to teammate and fellow All-Star Jonathan Yontis. Entering the university scene with nearly 100 games of Western Hockey League experience, the West Vancouver native was quick to turn that around in the post-secondary productivity, and in his first full month of the action, Catalay secured the Conference Athlete of the Month honor in November. The Rookie of the Year for the West Side is Kyle Bowlers, Ryerson University. In addition to his dedication and effort off the ice, Bowlers also impressed in the rink during his foray into the OUA. The West Division All-Star put his name on the map in a big way, tying a top OUA leaderboard with 13 goals and ranking third with 25 points. With his knack for scoring, it became a common place to see his name on the score sheet, being held off it on only three occasions in his 15 games played with his point production coming to a peak with a six-point game against Lakehead on March 4th. Congratulations, Holden and Kyle. The next award is for Goaltender of the Year. The East and Far East Goaltender of the Year Award goes to Luke Richardson, Queens University. The former Kitchener Rangers goalie has been rock solid since suiting up for Queens with his 11 games this season, proving to be his most electrifying stretch. The Barry product collected 10 wins to pace the OUA pack of puck stuppers while topping the league in save percentage and goals against average. Even with his consistent play throughout the year for the division leading Gales, Richardson found another gear down the home stretch of the regular season, picking up shutouts in the final three starts to bring his total to four on the year. The West and Far West Goaltender of the Year award goes to Alex Bishop, University of Toronto. The league leader with 457 saves on the year, Bishop stood tall while being prepped by the opposition, picking up nine wins on the season. His 920 save percentage and 2.54 goals against average helped Toronto claim the region's third seed heading into the playoffs, and he was instrumental in backstopping them to five straight wins to close out the year. The all-star netminder, who was also the first Varsity Blues goalie to win the award, also had the opportunity to don on a different in blue and white this year, while he served as an emergency backup for the Toronto Maple Leafs in October. Congratulations to Luke and Alex. Our next award is for Defenseman of the Year. The East and Far East Defenseman of the Year Award goes to Nicholas Matinen, University of Ottawa. The talented Gigi's rearguard is breaking new ground for the program as the first recipient of the Top Defenseman Award. 
With the reputation of being a hard person to play against, the Ottawa product uses tall frame and exceptional reach to not only be a good defender in cutoff plays, but also showcases impressive puck skills. At Miss's overall prowess while playing in all situations, the All-Star Blue Liner helped anchor the team's penalty kill that ranked fifth overall in the conference at 83.9%. The West and Far West Defenseman of the Year Award goes to Ryan Barbosa, University of Windsor. The Lancer All-Star was a potent present on the team's back end this season, playing big minutes in any and all situations for the blue and gold. The skilled puck-moving defender not only showcases shutdown skill, but also his offensive ability, chipping in with one goal and seven assists in 16 games. The academic All-Canadian studying human kinetics was a key reason the Windsor squad was able to achieve this level of success that they did this season, atop the Far West Division. Congratulations, Nicholas and Ryan. Our final award recognizes the most valuable players. The East and Far East Division's Most Valuable Player Award goes to Nicholas Matinen, University of Ottawa. The GG's Blue Liner was a focal point of the opposition's game plan, but still managed to showcase his all-around skill, which included 13 points on the year. Matching quantity with quality, a pair of Matten and Six markers came with the man advantage, one while shorthanded and two in the form of game winners. The two-time Ontario Hockey League champion and 2016 Memorial Cup winner played an average of 24 minutes per contest. Throughout that time, played a responsible game that showcases overall poise, confidence and skill in all three zones. Hi, my name is Nicholas Matten, defenseman for the University of Ottawa GGs, and I am honoured to be receiving the OUA East MVP award. I would start by thanking my teammates. Obviously, this is an individual award, but it would not be possible without all you boys in the dressing room. I'd like to thank my coaches, Pat, Stoic, Whitey, Tony, Blake, and Joey for investing countless hours into my development. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and girlfriend for always being there for support on all my good and bad days. And I'd also like to thank all the GG's game day staff for making sure all our games happen without a hitch at the Minto Sports Complex. Thank you, go GG's. The West and Far West Division's Most Valuable Player Award goes to Mason Cohn, University of Windsor. After joining the Lancers as a grad transfer, Cohn made an immediate impact with his new team, bringing a championship pedigree to the blue and gold. Cohn's leadership and all-round play was an integral part of the Far West Division regular season champions, as the Hollywood native played a complete 200-foot game for Windsor. After being held off the score sheet on just four instances this season, Cohn collected 20 points in 16 games of play, which included a fifth ranked total of 14 assists. I'd like to thank the OUA for uh, nominating me for this award. I'm very thankful to the OUA. And, um, you know, I couldn't have done this without the support of my family, my friends, the, you know, the strength that God gives me. Also, too, uh, I want to thank the coaching staff for believing in me and preparing me every night to go out and play on the ice. And, I really couldn't have done it without them. I couldn't have done it, done it without all the, the staff, members of the hockey team, you know, our fitness uh, coaches, our equipment managers, um, skate sharpeners, everything like that. And you know, the people coming to the games are fans. And also too, lastly, you know, I want to thank my teammates. I definitely couldn't have done it without them. You know, every day I come to the rink, they always have smiles on their faces. They're always working so hard. And they, you know, it's an honor to be a part of that team and it's an honor to be a Lancer. So I, you know, I can't thank everyone enough for all the support they've given me. And I know, I know I said it once, but I really want to thank my family again for supporting me and putting me in the sport of hockey. You know, I'm very fortunate and thankful for them and all they've done for me. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much. Congratulations, Nicholas and Mason, on truly a remarkable season. That concludes our awards for the 2021-2022 season. Congratulations to all our major award winners and those assigned to various all-star teams. Thank you guys for tuning in and be sure to follow Men's Hockey Playoffs on OUA.TV and join us Saturday, March 26th for the 110th Queen's Cup Championship game. I'm your host, Madupe, and it's been my pleasure.